That was my wife. She was a tailor. After the death of our first child, she was suffering from depression and short-term dementia. Recently, her condition getting worsened and she doesn't realize what she was doing. This thing caused her met many unfortunate accidents.
Kelly got bigger. And it looks like she was pregnant our second baby. But this is almost impossible. Because since the death of our first child, my doctor said she couldn't pregnant anymore. I didn't know how she can. But anyway, this is a good news for us.
I found a maid. Her name was Mary. From now, she would take charge of the cooking and cleaning in the house. I thought that my wife seems she doesn't like it. But what important? Mary could take care of her during pregnancy.
Recently, my wife has some slight weird expression. She said less than before, and often angry with everyone. Sometimes I saw her crying, and sometimes saw her smiling alone. Once time, I was horrified when I saw her playing with the spiders. The doctor said she might be suffering from personality disorder. So she needs medication and a special treatment.
until the day my wife gives birth. She was received in attentive care from Mary, so her personality disorder has somewhat reduced. She usually sewed stuffed animals from fabric. She said there were toys for the baby when it was born. But that toy seemed to be weird. It was like she was obsessed with something.
I was really shocked to see my newborn baby. It had a deformed face. Its look was very horrible. And it died a few hours later. Due to exhaustion my wife was unconscious. I did not know how to say with her when she woke up.
went insane. She kept screaming for her baby back. She killed the rats, stuffed them with cotton, and called them were the toys for the baby in heaven. She even killed her own beloved cat. The extreme manifestation of her makes me extremely worried. Doctor said she suffered severe psychological trauma. And now her disease has shifted from personality disorder to mental illness.
The house became overcast and cold. My wife was standing in the hallway holding a knife. She looked at me with a scary smile on her face. She plunged to me and then everything turned dark. Maybe she also wanted me to go to heaven like she did with her cat.
I realized, I was trapped in the basement. My wife had the abnormal expression since the child died. But I really did not expect, that my wife suddenly attacked me. Now, everything was clear when I read her diary. Sometimes, I suddenly injured somewhere. I could not remember what happened to me. The doctor said that I was suffering from depression. Besides that I was suffering from short-term dementia. Every morning when I woke up, all things became strange to me. Only one thing hasn't changed, that was my unborn fetus grows increasingly. Thenceforth, I start to write a diary. I want to note everything that happened to me into this. This things became complicated when my husband brought home a girl, and introduced she was a new maid in the house. Her name was Mary. She was a beautiful girl, but I had a bad premonition when I looked at her eyes. This introduction scene often repeated day after day. I realized that when I reread my diary. Seemed to Mary and my husband were lies in front of me, but he hadn't known that everything were wrote in this. I start to find out their reason. And then I was realized a horrific secret. My husband, he's an affair with Mary. They were taking advantage of my dementia illness, in order to sneak with each other. This things made me very sad. And it broke my heart. The only reason that helped me endure all of this was because my unborn child. Already 8 months, since Mary lived here. I've tried to dissemble when seeing her adultery with my husband. I couldn't believe that Mary was too greedy and sinister. She had put poison in my food. It was caused many severe abdominal pain. Her poison didn't make me dead, but it killed my son. These days are the most miserable days of my life. I realized I need to avenge. I want her to go through the pain of losing the child same like me. All of them were gonna pay for this. After a long time, waiting for Mary pregnancy, this moment finally came. I used a knife to slit her belly and get the baby out. It's a girl. It's looked at me and cried. In a second, something seems to touch my heart. I decided to let the little girl alive. But this couple gonna pay for what they did. I burn them. Two corpses were charred and could not identify their faces. Police later confirmed that this is a suicide of me and my husband. But they did not know about Mary presence in the house. After that, they took the baby away. This is the last page I wrote. And I did not want to see this diary anymore. Because it brings back my painful memories. I will wait for this child to come back.